Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ron Trades, and we're back with another trade breakdown video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be going over my Euro Dollar New York session, October 10th setup. I did pass my 100K FTMO, so I'm very proud of myself for that. Let's go ahead and get right into the breakdown. I'm going to try to um, make this a very structured breakdown, right? And I'm going to go over exactly what I was seeing. I am bullish on Euro Dollar. For a couple weeks, I am looking for Euro dollar to retrace up inside of a higher time frame PD array. So I'm gonna say that one more time. I am bullish on Euro dollar. I came into this week with a narrative hey, I wanna see the low of the week made and I wanna see us rally up for the next couple weeks, next couple of days. That's my analysis. So, I, so once again, I already had a bias. I didn't, like I say, I said this in my TFT interview. Man, I already know my bias coming into the week. I'm never coming into a week without a bias. If, if so, I'm not trading. So once again, I came into this day with a hey, I want to see London make the lower today. I want to see New York New York New York session retrace back down inside of what OTE. So let's go over right. So using the 15 minute time frame here, what do we see during London session? So we had this fake run down here, right? London session started at 2 a.m. So we had 2 a.m. here, boom, London session. So this rectangle box is going to be the Judas swing. This fake move down, oh, it's going to bearish, oh, Euro dollar's bearish. No, it's not. This is a fake Judas swing, right? After the Judas swing, what do we wait for? Well, we wait for time and price. What time are we wait for, Ron? 3 a.m. Why 3 a.m., Ron? That's silver bullet. That's the first silver bullet. If you don't know about silver bullet, go ahead and go watch ICT videos. Now, I did not trade London Session. I'm not going to lie. I didn't trade London Session because I already knew, hey, we're going to see a retracement during New York in the, in the first place. We had no news today. So very, very, very um standard day. So what do we see, guys? So we had a liquidity run here. So price came down, took out liquidity. And what do we also retrace inside of? This Bissy. We, we retrace inside of a 15-minute Bissy. I'm going to change the color. This Bissy here. So this um blue box is going to be my busy. So price came down inside of a 15-minute busy. At what time, Ron? London session. So first checkoff is going to be liquidity grab. We came down inside of a POI, second checkoff. Now, after we come inside of a POI and take liquidity, what do we wait for next, Ron? A clear market structure shift. Where's your market structure shift at, Ron? Right here. Let's go over it. In balance. They got rebounds, right? Okay, so let's go over it, guys. Like I say, very, very, very clean setup. In balance here, right here. Let me, let me draw it out. Right here. I'm, I'm going to just put it like this. I'm sorry. Right here. Off this candle. Right out this candle right here. Boom. It's going to be my immediate term high. We got immediate term high off this candle, right? It got rebalanced. If we're bearish, if we are bearish, we do not take out immediate term highs or short or short term highs. I'm going to say that one more time. If we are bearish, if you are in a bearish trade idea and you see a imbalance that got rebalance broken, I'm guaranteeing you your stop loss is next. What do we do? We broke this with clear displacement. At what time, Ron? 345. Do you not see this counter right here? Break right through it with displacement. Closed above. So once I came to my charts for New York session, I seen that whole thing playing out. So I simply pulled my field from this low, which is the lunch. So I pulled my field from the, the 315 low all the way up until 530 high. What do I wait for now, Ron? You simply wait and sit on your hands until price comes inside of what? Optimal trade entry. What's your optimal trade entry, Ron? 0 0.62 level, 0 0.705 level, and this in the 79 level. I took my entry right here at the 806. So 806, 806 let me see. I'm going to put the exact entry. 806. Boom. 806. And I had my stop right below this um 79 level. It's about 12 pip stop. My targets, last week, Friday's high. So, I, so we took out Friday's high. And this was pretty much my trade. So once again, let's go real quick. Price came down inside of a 15-minute POI. I already have a bias. My bias was bullish. That's the most important thing 
about this trade. I already knew what I was looking for. I didn't have to guess. I didn't have to predict. I didn't have to wait for anything. I knew exactly what the fuck I was looking for. Excuse my language. Price came inside of a 15 minute POI. Sale side liquidity taken here. We wait for 3 a.m. Why 3 a.m., Ron? Why is 3 a.m. so important? 3 a.m. is when the silver bullet begins. So if you're so if you're right, right, if you got the right directional bias, 3 a.m. you should see price this way, either to the upside or downside. We had a MS shift. Where's your MS shift at, Ron? Right here. Right here. It's right here. Market shift. MS shift. In balance, they got rebalance. If we're bearish, we don't take that out. Shift the market structure with clear displacement. We wait for a New York session. What time does New York session start, Ron? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. So 7 a.m., this is what I came to my chart, 7 a.m. The moment I came to my charts, I already knew, hey, let's get ready for an OTE. It's going to set up now. Price came down inside of 62. I waited for about this. I wanted to get, I wanted to, get to 70.5, I'm not going to lie. But I did end up taking the 62 level, which is okay. You know, that's okay. So I answered the 62 level. Price rallied away, taking out this um, old high we left behind. And we ran up until got Friday's high. So that's going to be a great trade setup for me. One shot, one kill. Um, Let's go to the to my credentials because I don't want anyone. Oh, he didn't pass. Up. Yeah, whatever. Right here, FTMO. You can see verification. Not not the phase one, verification. Um, Yeah, pass this. Got my live account, and we're going to run it up. So I appreciate everyone for the support. I appreciate everyone for staying tuned in my journey. And I hope I can help, man. Catch you guys in the next video. And as always, trade safely.